Hi everyone, welcome back. I tend to avoid having used tech support because I remember back in the early, late 90s, early 2000s, tech support was pretty much, you called up, you got somebody from India who was still learning their English, and I, I felt so sorry for them, and they pretty much were going off of a script, and they had four things that they could say to you, and that was about it. And once they were done, and if none of that worked, they'd start at the top of the script again and work all the way through. That was my one big experience with tech support. Pretty much for a half an hour doing that, and finally like, never mind, we'll figure it out on our own. But I figured, hey, you know, be a little more positive. Let's try something. Let's see if they can actually do something. Because I was having a problem right around Christmas time. I have the Microsoft Office Suite coming through uh, my daughter's account. So it's a family shared thing. And, i.e., I don't pay for it. Suddenly around November, it stopped working. I'd go into it and it would say, you have to log in. And I'd log in and then it'd say, oh, you don't have an account. And, um, and I, couldn't, uh, I couldn't edit my files. I could just look at them. And now this is not a big deal, but after a while, I was like, you know, I really ought to have this taken care of. So I tried fiddling with it. It didn't seem to work. And so finally I said, you know what, let's give, let's give Microsoft a chance. Let's try tech support. So I called them up and uh, this started on a Tuesday. I think it was Tuesday. And uh, I called them up. Uh, the first person I got was a gentleman. And uh, maybe unlike a lot of people, I don't have a problem with people with accents, but you know, we started going through, I explained the situation. Um, is it, it's my daughter's account. It is not my account, but I am on that account. So he does all the, the usuals. I said, yes, I've done this, blah, blah, blah. And then he asks to use remote access. Now I was taught in school. I have an associate's degree in network administration. I was taught in school for security, you don't leave remote access turned on in your computer. And I don't, I don't have it on. But I was like, sure, sure, let's just, let's just give, give these guys a try. So I turned on the remote access, I said, go ahead. I mean, I can go at any time and stop him from what he's doing. And just go, no, I don't think so. So I let him and I'm watching and he's uninstalling it and reinstalling it and uninstalling it and reinstalling it and uninstalling it and reinstalling it. Still, it's not working. So after about, I think about on and off about an hour or two of this, he's like, well, he's like, um, I think maybe it may be working right now, but if it doesn't, you're going to get a free month of office because of the trouble. And, and I said, but I don't pay for it. It is my daughter's account. That's what I've told you multiple times. It's not my account. It is my daughter's account. He's like, well, I sent you the link for it anyway. Okay. I'm going to have to kick this up to support number two. You will be called back in a day or two from another person. Okay. No problem. Fine. We say goodbye to each other. Blah, blah, blah. About two days later, I get my phone call from support number two. She is a wonderful woman. I would, I would love to have made friends with her. We had an awesome time talking while she worked through everything. And uh, she took it up a level. She went through all the usual things, but then she was actually able to, through, through time, at times, she'd go in, she'd go and talk to her. She'd say, hold on, please. And her name is Tasmin. Tasmania, Mia, and um, I had a wonderful time with her. We had wonderful, t I mean, I thought I made a new friend. Unfortunately, we couldn't be talking about half the stuff we wanted to because we were being recorded. <laughs> but um, she tried everything just about she could think of. And at one point she said, I'm going to have to go into the registry. And uh, yes, I can play in the registry, but I normally don't because of old fears from back in the day where I didn't know what I was doing and messing things up. So I watched her as in the code just flew by and I'm watching 
what she was doing and turning on. Some of it I understood, some of it I didn't. But I was fascinated nonetheless. And as I watched and we chatted, and this whole conversation took three hours, I saw what happened. There had been an update in November. And this update, what it really kind of did was it kind of tried to stop. It, it actually did try to stop those family accounts. And I kept seeing as she turned on the values to let the account turn on and it would default and turn itself back off again. And it said it was only on for a month and then it would default, which now made sense going back to what the other guy said. Oh, you get a free month. You get a free month because they want you to personally sign up and not be part of the family thing. Ah, it finally became clear. Now I saw why it wasn't working. The update had come through. I had been basically thrown out and they would not let me link back up. So after three hours and a wonderful conversation and I wished I'd gotten her email, I didn't think of it, even though we were writing notes to each other. Um, through notepad, it didn't occur to me to, after we'd hung up. We still didn't solve the problem. So she said, I'm going to have to kick you up to tech support. And I said, okay, I can do this. So the next day I had a couple of weird phone calls come through, but they were hung up on them only almost immediately. And I'm like, what the hell is this? And they weren't coming from the same place the previous calls were. So I wrote a nasty letter to Microsoft saying, you know, what is going on? Well, an email, what is going on? You guys keep calling, you keep going through and hanging up. And we did this about four or five times. Finally, it occurs, to, it, they tell me, check your, um, your phone. Maybe it's considering it spam. And that's what it was, which I find interesting. T true tech support from Microsoft, my service was considering it spam. I have a separate service just for, um, just for answering my answering machine. Well, not answering machine, my answering service is called Umail. It's, I use the free version of it. It's awesome. I love it. I recommend it. I'll put a linky down below if you're interested in it. You can put your own little, um, your own little things in there or some pre-recorded ones. I have a British voice of I don't know you and she answers quite lovely. I'm sorry, you've read wrong, you've dialed the wrong number. <laughs> anyway, I veer. So he starts his thing. And yes, he's a typical tech support guy. You can tell his English was not as marvelous as the first two. Um, I almost had a little problem following him at times and he would, as soon as he was doing stuff, bam, that mic would get turned off and I'd hear dead silence. So at this point, I'm kind of frustrated and I'm sitting on the floor cause I was doing something. I don't remember. Um, and I'm watching the screen and I happened to glance away from the screen a few times. Finally, after him fiddling around, he says, you know what? I think we're going to have to reinstall windows. Now, I think that's pretty drastic, but at, I agreed with him for only one reason. Because they had been playing around in the registry and everything else, I kind of felt they had had their dirty little hands all over my machine, inside and out, and I didn't want that anymore. And so I agreed. Yes, it's an excellent idea. Yeah, let's, let's redo the, let's just redo Windows entirely because I felt it was all dirty and contaminated at this point. So I tell him, cool, just know I have a 64-bit machine. He says, oh, oh, all right. I wasn't expecting that. Okay. I thought you had home. And I said, I have a 64-bit machine. Okay. I glanced away from the screen while for a moment so I don't exactly see which one he's putting in we finished the whole thing he's like that should be fine just put in the thing start your account and, and Windows and uh, Word should be working by now cool okay fine we say goodbye hang up I go to log in to complete the installation of Windows and my serial number doesn't work at all. I'm like, what the hell? I keep trying it. It keeps telling me that 
uh, that code, serial code or whatever it is, does not work. What the hell did he put in here? And I look and he put in professional. I'm like, why, why did he put professional in? I had the 64-bit home. Why did he put professional in? Because there's two versions of home, 32-bit and 64-bit. I know when I bought it, and I just bought Windows 10 last year. That's another story. I won't even get into that one. That was just me stupid. <laughs> um, and I had to pay for it. So I call them up, and they're about to start doing that. I'm like, no, 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 no. Don't do tech support. Don't do anything. I'm just giving you a warning. When your people do installs, they should really pay attention, blah, blah, blah. And then I get told that they only have one option, either home or Pro. Home is 32-bit, Pro is 64. So he actually did put in what I told him to do. At this point, I wish I could reach through the phone and just, just slap, <laughs> not that person, but through slapping them, slap the person that I had told that I had a home version, but it was 64-bit. Because he was the tech. He should have known the difference. He should have known there were multiple types of it. So, I said, never mind. They're like, yo, we could just go. No, no, no. Stop. 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 I'll do it myself. I'll just reinstall my copy of Windows in. And now we'd actually found out what the problem was for the actual office. I had to use my daughter's email rather than my email all this time it was that simple and every single time I had told them it's not my account but I use my email the account is under my daughter's account should we be using my daughter's email and the first person's like oh no that doesn't make any difference at least she the lady in the middle was not did not know about the update that it flipped those switches. So she was unaware. She thought it was the same as it was before. So the whole thing didn't work because Microsoft was trying desperately to get more money out of its uh, clients and wasn't bothering to tell even their tech support what the hell was going on. So that I went, uh, it took me a few hours to download again because the copy I have I bought from Amazon, so it's a digital copy. I had to download it, burn it, now that I have a backup, which I couldn't get to, to do before, reinstall it, and then, you know, the hours and hours it takes me to um, tweak Windows to the way I like it and take crap out of it and so forth and so on. But... Yes, tech support has improved, but it still sucks. <laughs> it's still... No one's paying attention to the finer little things like that little thing and that they don't inform their tech people. Um, so that took a week, and I could have probably solved it myself, but I wanted to give it a chance. I don't know what the moral of this story is. Don't trust tech support. Uh, <laughs> try to figure it out on your own. But that's where we are. Thank you for listening. Please comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you back here next week and see you soon. Bye-bye.